Hello, my name is Steve Thayer. I'm a graduate of the University of Illinois College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I have a degree in economics from the University of Illinois. Currently a partner in the law firm of Handler Thayer in Chicago, Illinois. My topic today is how to start a business after college. And my experience in starting a business actually came in college when I started several businesses to try to help put myself through college. So what I learned most about starting a business is that I didn't really know a lot about starting businesses. There was a lot more to running a business that I needed to learn. So when I finished college, I went on to business school and law school to learn more about the business and the legal issues associated with starting a business. After law school, I started a law firm. We got into the business of starting businesses. I've since formed hundreds of companies and all sorts of industries. I feel like there's a lot more to learn still about how to run and start a business. The most important thing I've learned in my experience, however, is that people are probably the most important ingredient to starting and running a business, not the ideas or the capital like you would expect. Good people will find good ideas and turn them into successful businesses. Smart investors look for good people, not just good ideas. Good people do good research, they come up with good business plans before a business is even launched. They mitigate their risks, they plan ahead. They do the best job of predicting the future of the business because they have a plan, they don't just wing it. So a very successful real estate developer once said to me, Steve, you know the most important things of real estate investing? And I said, sure, it's location, location. He says, no, 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 no. He's like, before I could even get the, the, the words out, he said, it's people, people, people. So if you want to start a business, my suggestion is you consider bringing on the right people to help you, especially people that know the things that you don't know. But don't be in a rush to bring on just anyone. Find the right people. Also, don't be in a rush to give everybody equity in the business from the beginning. If you're going to give them equity incentive, make them earn the equity over time and make sure they're the right people before they fully vest in that equity. Just because you start a business with two people in a room doesn't mean you're 50-50 partners. You need a business relationship with those people that you bring into the business. A business relationship is typically a contractual relationship that has clear terms and conditions. For employees, that might be an employment contract. For independent consultants, it might be an independent contractor agreement. Shareholders or investors investors might want to sign a shareholder agreement or investor rights agreement. Disputes generally happen when there's no clear business understanding between the parties or somebody just simply ignores that business understanding and breaches the contract. A good agreement is a roadmap that clearly defines your business relationship with each of the people that you bring into the business. Some people argue that, you know, if you do business with the right people, you don't need a contract and a handshake is good enough. And while that might be true for some people, a good contract will at least help you get rid of some of the wrong people. And unfortunately, the wrong people are harder to spot than you might think. Sometimes they're your best friends who started the business with you, but for whatever reason, are not the right people for the business. So the bottom line is that you need the right people and clearly defined relationships when you're starting a business with those people. The right people will figure out what to do and will address the issues and make the changes that are necessary to be successful. The right people will keep you in check and help you learn what you don't know. The one thing I've learned since starting my first business in college is that there's always more to learn and you don't know what you don't know. Good luck and remember an ILL doesn't do you any good unless you have an I&I. &I.